we've known each other for a long time and I, I've seen you through, I, I think a, a dispassionate lens where I can say there was this period in the Senate where you needed to be serious. Yeah, they 90, said, don't be funny. They said, don't be funny. And so- Don't be funny. You, don't be funny on the floor. Right. Don't be funny in hearings. Don't be funny. Uh, yeah. Don't be funny. No jokes, no sarcasm, because the other side- Whoever that is can take that out of context. Just read it. Well, that was true. Of yeah. course, that was yeah. true. But it was also more, you won by 312 votes. Right. And people in Minnesota want you to be, want to know that you're serious about this. Yeah. And I went, yeah, no right. shit. And I didn't really internalize it at right. first. So I, um, I tell the story. And, well, I'll tell uh, First day I'm there, I get sworn in, go back to my office. First day in my office. I've never been, you know, take the subway back to the office, go to the heart, the heart building, get in my office. There's a sheet on my paper, on my desk. Set, and I learned that one of your duties as a uh, senator is to write congratulatory notes to constituents. Mm -hmm. And this first note is to Ruth Anderson, who's turning 100 and 10. She's from Marshall, Minnesota. She's turning 110. So I've been told, don't be funny. So I get out my official stationery, use it for the first time. And I write, Dear Ruth, you have a bright future. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone put that in the shredder. Uh, yeah. Close. My new assistant, who I had never hadn't met, comes in. Oh, well, I'd met her, but I hadn't worked with her. She takes it and brings it to my new chief staff, who I selected. And uh, he says, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, it's a, it's a joke. Yeah. Uh-huh. You think Ruth Anderson will find it funny? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know. She's 110. <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you think her family will find it yeah, funny? Yeah, and yeah. I went, oh, yeah. And I th started thinking about her 90-year-old son reading it. <laughs> But see, this is the, what I'm trying to get to is for those of us who knew you and you worked so hard at being a senator and taking it very seriously and really doing the work. And, well, of course, and, of course. And, but of course, it was interesting. Of course. For me to see you. I'm going to keep saying that. Of course. <laughs> it was interesting to see you at that time because uh, I knew that you had to restrain this whole other side of you, which was really funny because you can't, you really can't be doing that uh, if you're in the Senate. And then now I see that you're just back to hitting on all cylinders comedically. I'd say on three out of four. <laughs> no, okay. I, I, I'm trying to hit on all cylinders. No, it's been no, great. It's like I've been doing this. a 12 cylinder engine and you're hitting on three cylinders. <laughs> It's a, we're talking about a, a classic. I, I like to say eight, mm -hmm. three out of four. But no, I I think I'm I'm hitting, I'm, I'm doing a uh, high. So <laughs> two cylinders, two cylinders. It's now two you're, down, you're now down to two out of 12. <laughs> oh boy. The car is smoking. <laughs> it's not even moving. Yeah, no, I, I mean, well, it was interesting. Like the second week I'm there, there's a Supreme Court here, and I'm on the Judiciary Committee, and Sotomayor, and Amy Klobuchar, who is my senior senator, who a was a prosecutor, I asked her, like, why did you become a prosecutor? And she said, well, I, because I watched Perry Mason. Mm -hmm. as a, as a, and I watched Perry Mason, too. And I, So when it got to me, I just said, why, if you watch Perry Mason, a case, a, a show in which the prosecutor lost every case. Yes. Why every did you become a prosecutor? Yeah. And she goes... Actually, Berger won one case. Yeah. That was the prosecutor. And so I said, okay, well, look, I got 30 minutes of questioning, so let's get to that. And then at the end, I had like, <laughs> I had about a minute left and I couldn't develop a new line of questioning. So I said, okay, as long as we're at it, what case did <laughs> Berger Perry, Perry Mason lose? Yeah. And she said, I, I don't know. And I said, just because. I'm trained like you. I just said, didn't the White House prepare you? <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course. <laughs> of didn't cor they prepare you on TV trivia? <laughs> well, she offered it as yeah, a piece yeah. of information and then couldn't follow up. So <laughs> that was very damaging. But... Uh, 
<laughs> and then, but what the point about that is, I just got killed for that. Oh, really? Does Al Franken have to be funny? Yeah, yeah. And it was, as you know, it was just, I didn't go, okay, I will ask her yeah. why she became a prosecutor. Because I, I, Amy hadn't asked that. Yeah. And then she will say Perry Mason. <laughs> and then she'll I'll say, well, how did you become? Because it, but I, at what point, because I know that you you know your history well, at what point uh, did were we not allowed to be funny anymore in our political discourse? I mean, real politicians, I'm not talking about wags on the sidelines, but there have been some quite- There's a kind of funny you're supposed to be. Right. Or can be. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's funny. Like, everyone hates me because I say Lindsey Graham was the funniest- Say, yeah, Sona just hates me right now. I saw that I mean, in your eyes. I don't eyes. hate you. I'm just confused. It, well, uh, I, it he is has, confusing. He has a quick sense of humor. He has a, uh, a sharp sense of humor. He does, and his sense of humor is I'm very cynical. So I'll give you an example. I'm going to, uh, we're taking a break for winter vacation, for Christmas vacation. And he says, Al, you, you going anywhere? Take your family for sun. And I said, I'm going to Vieques, which is Puerto Rico. And he goes like, do two, fu-, immediately, boom. Do two fundraisers, one for the people for who are for statehood, one for the people who are against. They never talk to each other. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that, every one of his jokes is, I'm the most cynical guy in the world. Yeah. And he's proving that, actually. He has day proven. Day in and day out. 